Banks play a very important role in Australia. They grow our economy, they fuel small businesses, and they help everyday Australians to get ahead. Banks take that role very seriously, and right now they're working hard to earn back your trust. That's why Australia's banks are stepping up and raising standards. The code is important because it sets standards for all of us to follow in the way we engage with our customers and the communities that we support. My bank will now let me know when the introductory offer on my credit card ends. And if I'm in financial difficulty, I can contact my bank for help. Banks will now use simplified contracts and give businesses more time to make other arrangements when loan conditions change. Banks will now give guarantors a grace period so they really understand what they're taking on. And if her circumstances change, they'll let me know. People can find themselves in financially vulnerable circumstances for lots of reasons. You could lose your job, you could get sick, your relationship could break down, there could be a natural disaster. What we need to know is that the banks are going to look after us if that happens. The code says that banks must now proactively identify people who are at risk of financial hardship. Well I think it's a step. I mean I don't think in, in and of itself it won't uh, restore trust but it will absolutely help. It's about the industry saying, hey this is what we stand for, this is how we're going to live our lives, this is how we're going to interact with you. But it's that, it's that important piece about holding us to account for that. Banks are determined to get this right so they can partner with Australians and help them realise their dreams. The new banking code of practice will result in better banking where every customer counts.